Hey, for today's quick little Funko Pop review, we're going to do it on Nebula. I actually really like Nebula. Um, the thing is, I feel kind of bad for her because she's like the unwanted sister or whatever. Like, it's just, I don't know if you ever, if you grew up in a home where your sibling just kind of outclassed you in so many ways that your parents and your whole family was constantly praising that they were always, they were, they were just like, you know, the golden child. And then no matter what you did, it never kind of measured up. Um, well, maybe that's kind of why I identify with Nebula a little more. Um, but outside of that, I just think she has a cool look. So I decided to pick this up. Of course, there's a bunch of other characters. I actually didn't feel compelled to get any of these other, um, Funko Pops, but except for Rocket, and that's a weird thing. If you look, Rocket's got like a jet plat, uh, jet pack, like blasting out of his back, and so those flames actually are like a little stand for him, like a little display base, and I think that's really cool. But obviously, none of the other characters get such treatment, and I don't understand what the deal is with some characters getting extra stuff, and and I. I just wish they all had display bases, but I'm gonna stop. I feel like I make that complaint every single time I do one of these reviews, just because I really want them to all have display bases. Why do some of them do, some of them don't? I, can't there be a standard? Um, but I'm gonna stop making that complaint. I just really wish they would do it. Uh, but let's go ahead and open it up and take a closer little look at her. Okay, now Nebula has these kind of bases, which I guess are supposed to just be these one size fits all bases of having a small peg and a bigger peg and then I guess you just you know whichever one applies to you I don't know which one you like best I guess is the one that you use and then there you go uh, of course all of the Marvel Funko Pops are actual bobbleheads I know it seems like they should all be bobbleheads or how, like why aren't they all bobbleheads but for whatever reason uh, it's just the Marvel ones Or I think uh, Star Wars is also, I don't know, maybe it's a Disney thing then. Um, but they can all do that. The only thing is when you start messing with it, that happens, and then they'll end up turning and looking the other way, and it's actually kind of hard to get them to to turn back around. Like, she refuses. Like, like oh my god, I've made it worse. Now her head's too low, it's almost swallowing her body. This is the thing I don't really like about bobble heads. <laughs> is I feel like I, I can't touch them and the moment I, I do so that they can do the stupid feature that which they're all about, which is bobble, they just end up looking really weird. I don't know. Well, anyways, I think she looks adorable. Kind of a little scuffed kind of dirty that's really weird I just opened her kind of same thing on the back what was this open before me what happened uh, well she's got that metal thing on the top of her head which does I have no idea what um, but then a lot of detail yes well this all looks right to me all this stuff on her eye and then of course uh, her arm which is being has been replaced and then a lot of little detail there as well. Of course, Nebula tore off her own hand. She'd rather, I guess, potentially fall to her death than be helped by Gamora. And see, that is conviction. I tell you, I love Nebula. Um, and then her outfit is... Is this what she wears in the movie? Because I feel like every time I see something of her for the new movie, it's her wearing her old clothes, but they're dirty now, like her old purple outfit, but it's just, it's just, it's just messed up. Uh, this looks like a nice new clean red outfit. Maybe she changes costumes in the movie. I don't know. It's not out yet. It's kind of it's soon. Um, and then she also comes with a gun. So that's cool. I saw these Mass Effect pops and it was like here's the main character I guess and then here's the main character again but this time with a gun like dude how come you didn't just why didn't they just have a gun the first time around I don't okay anyways uh, but her outfit actually kind of has a lot going on really 
took a lot of straps and pockets and pouches. I mean, because I do not have like tons of Funko Pop figures or whatever, um, you know, maybe there's other other figures that are like way, way more detailed. But for me, this is probably the most detailed pop figure I have now with all this work done for her boots and pants. And then with the arm. Yeah, so not bad. I actually, I like that. Uh, I don't know why she looks like maybe I found her on the floor. I guess I'm gonna clean her up. I don't know. I'm gonna give her a bath, I guess. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. I can't tell. That looks like her head is still resting too short, right? Shouldn't it be more like here? Ugh. Bobbleheads. Well, because the Marvel Legends figure of her is not out yet, uh, the only thing I have to compare this little nebula to is um, the Dorbs figure. Which is based on her old outfit, where she was much more purple and she still had a regular hand, but her arm is still... Uh, metallic. I cannot remember the comic book, like the origin comic book thing that came out where I swear like she was she got captured and then Gamora like gave her a knife and she was just like you know whatever. She just left her there to die. And so Nebula like cuts her own arm off and I figured that's why she has the the cybernetic arm but like she still managed to keep her hand. I know it's really weird to use the dorbs of all things to try and point that out but she still had her regular hand but then of course at the end of guardians she cuts that off so now it's just like a full-on cyber arm but you can see this the detail with the thing on her eye like that's pretty much the same i mean it's colored differently But everything else, I mean, matches up. I still think Dorbs are cuter. The only thing is, they all look like this. All of them. They all have the same facial expression, the same little body. And they don't come with anything. The reason I started getting into the fun Copot figures is because they at least would come with an accessory. And um, they would have something of a facial expression, even if it's just through eyebrows. So, there's that. Anyway, I think this is really, really cute. I cannot wait uh, I've been, I mean, like, I really liked Guardians of the Galaxy when it came out, but afterwards when hearing that, like, oh yeah, in the next one, Nebula is going to have a bigger role, I'm like, oh, that's great, because I felt like she had a pretty decent role in the first one, but if she was going to be more important in the second one, you know, like, I can't wait, and then I was also like, and if she's going to have a more important role, then fingers crossed that she will also get more action figures, because there really wasn't a whole lot, I mean, there was like this, and then there was, um, like, little mini mate, that I can't find, and then um, the, like the little Lego figure, but not, not a whole lot. So um, that's why I'm really happy we're gonna get like a Marvel Legends figure, and then hopefully some more screen time. I can't tell from the latest trailer. It seemed like maybe she was gonna be something of a good guy. I don't want her to be a good guy. I want her to be a villain all the time. But I don't know. I guess maybe the trailer tricked me, and we'll just see what happens. Uh, when, I mean, I know you're like, what do you mean, dude? She, they show her in a spaceship shooting at Gamora. Yeah, but they also show her standing around with the team also. So I don't know which scene comes first. I hope she just remains a villain. I really like her to be a villain the whole time. I don't really get into the whole reforming villains and then making them good just because they were cool. Like, no, like let them be cool villains. Don't try and make them cool heroes. Let them be cool villains. So... I think this little nebula is adorable.